Hi and welcome to this demo on the new pinned layer and pin channel system introduced inside of Mario Extension Pack 3.0. So the pinned layer system is a uh, system to make it easier to access um, and use shared layers and you know introduce some sort of a bookmarking system for layers that uh, allows you to have easier access to layers you're using over and over. So let's have a quick look at um, existing Mari techniques for sharing as well as tools we introduced in previous extension pack versions to make it easier. Um, and then we get to the pinned layers and pinned channels at the end. So I've got my object here and I've got different um, masks set up, different mask channels set up for different parts of the object. So I've got a funnel mask, I've got a mask for the wooden base, and now I want to use these masks. So um, if I create a uh, base color, Catalog, which is one of the new nodes inside of Mari 3, and set it to grass. And now I want to mask in the funnel area with the funnel mask channel. So in Mari Extension Pack 2.0, we introduced the idea of um, channel layers. Or, well, we didn't introduce it, but we made it easier to use them. So we have the add channel layer, which allows you to add another channel as a layer. And we have the masking for the channel layer. So we have add channel mask. So, you know, I would select the funnel mask and just add it in, and then I would get the funnel layer or the brass layer here masked in by the funnel mask and this system works all well and fine as long as you're willing to have different masks in different channels but if you're having a lot of masks you might get a lot of channels as a result so um if you want to use a system where you're housing multiple layers inside of one channel and each layer is a different mask so for example here i've got you know the wood frame and all the silver and chrome pieces and they're all in a different um, on a different layer, but all inside the same stack. So, in order to use this system, you still would have to go the Mari way of sharing. So you would have to select your layer, hold down Control Shift, drag it onto your target stack, and drag it onto the mask stack. Wait for it to open, and then drag it in here. And now you would have the layer shared inside of the mask stack. So this is kind of where pinned layers can make it a little bit easier. So if we just get rid of this for a second again. And I'm going to go to my mask collection channel and right click and go to the new pin sub menu. So uh, I have a save quick pin option here and that adds sort of like a clipboard for quick sharing operations. So if I save a quick pin and go back to my channel and then go to the add pin menu and insert the quick pin. And now I have my layer shared in this place. And like I said, it acts sort of like a temporary clipboard while you can, you know, you can add the same one in again. That's not a problem. Um, you can also select multiple layers at once. So um, in this case, you know, I can use the save quick pin. I can also use the default hotkey that is set, which is control alt and C. So it's kind of in line with the control C, control V. So we have control alt C to uh, save a quick pin from the layer palette. And then we head over here and then we press control alt V. And now it'll share all my layers inside of my stack. So this is sort of um, the quick pin system. Um, we have the same option from the channel palette. So, you know, I can right click and go to the uh, channel pop up menu and go to pin save a quick pin and then, you know, add the pin somewhere else. So, you know, add the quick pin and now I have a channel layer. A pin channel layer created in here. So what if we instead of you know having to select all the different layers each time, um, we want to have access to them to them whenever we want. So this is where the pin collections come in, or the collection pins, I should say. So I'm just going to select all of these layers and then go to pin pin to collection. And you know, now under the pin layers, I have all of these layers available as different pins. I can even, you know, I can pin a group, I can pin any layer type that Mario supports. So, you know, now I have a uh, group in here as well. And now if I go back to my uh, little diffuse demo here and go in here, right click, add pin layer, and I can choose, for example, the funnel here. And now it adds it in. And after using the pin layers, they won't disappear, they're still in here. So you can have access to them over and over. So what happens, um, you know, like, how do I get rid of these? So for starters, all of these collection pins are saved with your project. So whenever you reopen the project, all of these will still be there. Um, so the first thing what happens if uh, 
the layer is removed. So let's go to, um, you know, let's select one of the pin layers and get rid of it. And here I'm gonna just change the name as well. So now let's head over here and add the pin layer that we just removed. Oops, so that was the wrong one. Uh, I must have been the silver pieces. Yeah. So because I deleted the layer, the collection pin could not find a layer to share in there. So it's gonna tell me that and remove the pin automatically. So now the uh, you know the silver pin has been removed. So what about the uh, layer name? So you might have seen just now I got rid of the brass part of the funnel name. So if I click now here, um, it will still find the layer. So but it'll recognize that the um, name has changed from brass funnel to just funnel and ask me to if I wish to update the pin name. So I, I'll press yes here and it'll share in the layer and now the pin has been updated in name to just funnel. Now if you want to manage your pins, you know, you can just go to the pin menu and add a collection pin. And now you have a list of all pins and you can just remove any you don't want anymore. And now, you know, they're, they're gone. And the same system for collection pins exists on the channel menu. So you have a uh, pin into collection and now I have my mass collection pinned to my uh, pin layers. One thing to note is that for quick pins, the Control Alt C and Control Alt V hotkeys are uh, only applying to layers. So if I press Control Alt C in the channel palette, it won't quick pin the selected channel, but it'll quick pin whatever layers active in the channel. So you will still have to do a manual save quick pin on channels. However, um, the pasting or the sharing of quick pins with Control Alt V is you know universal for channels and everything because it, at this point you are in the layer palette and you, can, you know it's a regular pin layer. You can also assign hotkeys to pins, so you know you can um, go to the shortcuts menu under the Mario Extension Pack Layers. And there's a pin layers and you have a pin list. And in here you have all your pins and you can just assign a hotkey to it. And that concludes the little demo for pin layers and channels. And uh, it's quite a useful addition, in my opinion. Um, thanks to Peter Averson for suggesting it. And uh, yeah, hope you like it and enjoy it.